To most of us, a bee is just a bee, but not to Sam Drogi. They're beautiful to look at under the microscope. Four years ago, Drogi began his pilot project surveying native bees for the U.S. government's geological survey. He sorts them in pizza boxes, which he uses for storage. He says scientists know a lot about honeybees, which produce honey and pollinate a third of U.S. crops, but very little about wild bees, which pollinate 75 percent of wild plants. They don't produce honey, they don't have a barbed sting, they're not aggressive. So some like sandy soil, some like thick grass, some are only nesting in woods. If the honeybee population continues to decline, Drogi says wild bees have a better chance of survival because they are solitary. One of the reasons they're probably more robust than honeybees is that they nest individually. One female makes one nest at a time. At the end of the year, the female dies and the whole system restarts, so you don't accumulate as many diseases. Drogi says his survey is only the first step in a long process to learn about wild bees. He says once scientists have an inventory, they can study their habits and use them to pollinate crops. He estimates there are 4,000 types of native bees in North America, 400 yet to be named. They haven't been scientifically described. We might know that they're different or they're not. They're a new kind of species. Most of Drogi's inventory comes from 20 U.S. forest sites across the country. He also travels to find bees and doesn't have to go far to discover some just outside the building housing his laboratory. I have no idea what I'm going to find each time. There's, um, in just this region alone, there's over 400 different species. He says the insects, some as tiny as a grain of rice, are on the ground, but people don't notice them. Most people have no idea that their lawns are nothing but grass interspersed with bee nests. Since some bee species look remarkably similar, Drogi examines each one through up. a microscope. The differences are real subtle, slightly different sizes and shapes, a little bit more color here than there, um, differences in the hair patterns and documents them with high-resolution photos. Drogi says his survey will show whether some species of wild bees are declining or flourishing. He says so far, scientists don't know the answer, but he thinks most are doing just fine. Deborah Block, VOA News, Beltsville, Maryland.